Good morning, church. God is good. And all the time, tell the person sitting beside you, you are such a joy in this place. Church, during this Advent season, Father Binu and I have been talking about Advent and the Eucharist. Come home to hope, love, joy, and peace. This is our homily series. Can we read them together? Advent and the Eucharist. This weekend, I want to talk about how come home to joy, come home to Jesus. Come home to joy, come home to Jesus. Can we say those words together? Come home to joy, come home to Jesus. That's not my baby picture, by the way. <laughs> this guy is more cuter than me. Huh? There is this video, that sh two minute video that I want to show you. Uh, we're having problems uh, uh, starting this morning with our computers. How many of you think that computers are not perfect? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so uh, even though I think we, uh, we, we look into this video, uh, in silence you will get the meaning of it. So can we turn off the lights please and have that video? Bonds of time, you're in the grasp. A staircase to climb, breathing in gasps. The wind only knows what happened to me. I know your rose trapped beneath the sea. This I know, I'll never let you down. This I know. I'll never let you down Bruises on all the trees Echoing sound If you're down on your knees For a final count This I know, I'll never let you down. I am not selling Pandora. <laughs> Turn on the lights, please. Mothers, how many of you can relate to this video? Thank you. Thank you. When we are in the presence of love, we recognize it. When we are in the presence of joy, we recognize it. When we are in the presence of peace, we recognize it. Some way, somehow, during this great season, you know, uh, when we look and see the poinsettias, the Advent wreath, the Christmas songs, the lights outside the lawns, the Christmas tree. Even in our, the franticness of, of making sure that you get the right gifts for that right person, even on Amazon. Huh? 
you know, Christmas music that we hear from 93.9. <laughs> Especially that Mariah Carey song. Uh, we recognize that there is something about this season that is so special that brings us joy. So even though non-Christians, you know, recognize this and celebrate it with us, albeit, you know, not with the real reason of Christmas itself. But yet, the human spirit can recognize something that is bigger than itself when we are in the presence of it. Just like those kids that recognize who their mothers are. No wonder I think when we are around this table, at the breaking of the bread, at the pouring of the wine, at the proclamation of the word, you know, at the singing that we do, at the sacrifice of our tithings, of the people sitting beside us, of the silence that pervades, you know, of the prayers that is said in silence. We recognize something that is bigger than ourselves. We recognize Jesus. Jesus. This uh, Advent season is also a season of confessions. And, and usually, especially yesterday, uh, you know, I've heard confessions. Father, it's been 35 years. Father, it's been 55 years since my last confession. And they were in tears. And some of them were so nervous. I'm like, I'm not going to bite you. <laughs> I haven't bitten anyone in 22 years. <laughs> and this is not going to be the first one. <laughs> Why? Because we human beings like to beat ourselves up. But not God. We're so hard on ourselves, but not God. So when we are in the presence of mercy, it is so hard to recognize mercy itself because we do not have mercy for ourselves. Come home to joy. Because joy himself wants you home. Joy himself wants you home. And for us, joy is not just a fleeting, you know, happiness that we get from, from doing all of those stuff that we think will make us happy. For us, joy it's a person. Joy has a name, and his name is Jesus Christ. Everything else, brothers and sisters, will not last. Even the person sitting beside you won't be there all the time. And oftentimes, you will even leave yourself away. Not Jesus. No wonder the invitation of every Sunday is the invitation to come home, come home to joy. I love it when I was looking, watching that video for the first time, and I saw the reaction of the moms. Did you see the reaction of the moms? Some of them were kind of afraid <laughs> that the kids won't recognize them. And there was this kid who was also afraid. Did you notice her hand like this? But then, brothers and sisters, we do recognize because the one who made that heart of yours is Jesus. Is Jesus. And even though we fail to recognize him so many times during this week, especially in our own relationships, it is still his great hope that one day you will come home. You will come home. Can we just bow our heads in prayer? If your loved one is here, hold her hand. Hold her hand. And say these words with me. 
Thank you, Jesus, that you are my home. Thank you, Jesus, for the Eucharist, my home of joy. Give me always the grace to come home to you. This is my prayer. In your sweet name, amen. Rejoice, rejoice. Amen.